This week's episode of the Android Apps Weekly Show is sponsored by Pander. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome back to Android Apps Weekly. This is episode number 132, so let's get started. Google is tinkering with the idea of adding in-app purchases to Google Cardboard content. Despite the fact that people hate them, in-app purchases account for over 90% of revenue in the Google Play Store and Google wants to entice more developers for Cardboard. What's holding Google back is that they want it to be as intuitive as possible so that it makes less people angry. Late last week, some new research came to light that 77% of people never use an application again 72 hours after installing it. The study found that the most successful applications were ones that users engage in regularly as opposed to ones that had specific functions. Of course, Google Apps were not included in the study since you can't really uninstall them anymore. Supercell, developers of Clash of Clans and Clash Royale released an advertisement to announce that they have over 100 million people who play their games every day. That's quite an achievement, especially considering that Supercell has only four games along with 14 games that they axed before release. The advertisement is also pretty funny. The Android and developer preview is live and one of the more exciting Exciting features is dual window support for applications. This includes a fun feature where you can drag and drop text between windows for easy copy and pasting. It all looks like a bunch of fun, but it is a little buggy for right now. Another app-related feature of Android N will be faster app optimization. Google plans on removing that annoying app optimization box after a system update and will instead perform that process in the background after the phone boots. Apps will open a little bit slower for a little while, but eventually it'll all work as it did before. This is a welcome improvement that should vastly improve boot times. For even more Android apps and games news releases and updates, don't forget to check out this week's newsletter, which is linked in the video description below. There we'll have all of the awesome stuff we didn't have time for here. If you'd like, you can subscribe using the form, which is in the written companion, which is also in the video description below, and we'll send it to you every Sunday. For even more awesome Android N coverage, check out the Diving Into Android N series right now, which is also linked in the video description below. Okay, folks, let's take a look at the apps and games that made a big splash this week. As usual, if you want to check out any of these apps or games, you can find those links in the video description below. VHS Camcorder is a fun little video recording application that takes you back to the early 1990s. It does this by adding filters and stuff to the screen to make it seem as though you recorded your video on an old school camcorder. Fans of the retro stuff will likely enjoy it, but you won't get the kind of crisp, beautiful video you're used to getting out of this one. It's $2.99, but there are no in-app purchases, and it seems to work pretty well. Time Knots is a new freemium game where you must collect a variety of Time Knots, which are the good guys, and then do battle against the bad guys. It features a variety of settings that span time and include some unique and funny characters, including Gabriel Iglesias. Yes, as in the comedian. It is a freemium game, which means it has the classic freemium issues, but it is goofy and plays pretty well. It's fun as long as you can get around those in-app purchases. Roadie is kind of like a mixture of Craigslist and Uber. You put up jobs for people to do that involve shipping cargo from point A to point B. Drivers can then accept the jobs if they like the money or continue on to the next job if they don't. The app allows you to manage both sides of the fence so drivers can accept jobs and communicate while regular people can post jobs of stuff they want shipped somewhere else. It's a nifty idea and we'll see how it turns out. Legacy Quest is a new game that features voxel graphics and hack and slash mechanics. Despite its cartoon appearance, the game is actually rather dark. You are to craft your family legacy using the souls of the people that you kill. You'll get to travel through 70 dungeons across 6 regions along with 7 levels of difficulty. It plays well, includes boss fights and a whole lot more. It is suffering from some early release day bugs, so do beware of that. Stream is a new live video streaming service where you can watch people live or broadcast yourself. It aims to take on the likes of things like Twitch, Periscope, or Facebook's new live video feature and other streaming sites. It seems to work rather well and it works across a variety of interests. You can use your camera and stream what's going on around you or broadcast yourself playing games on your device. It has some early bugs, but it's definitely worth a shot. This week's episode of the Android Apps Weekly Show is sponsored by Pander. Pander is an up-and-coming delivery service that brings food straight to your door. It starts by asking you questions about what kind of food you like and then delivers recommendations based on your individual tastes. As you order and use the application, Pander will improve its suggestions to you. The application uses a very attractive card-based interface that is both colorful and efficient. Ordering stuff and then checking out is pretty easy and the application tells you before you do anything whether or not their service is available in your area. It's entirely free to download, so give it a shot and show your support for the Android 
Apps Weekly Show. Once again, I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority App Guy. Why you're here, why not subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel? If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there, and they're also linked in the video description below for you folks on mobile. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion, which is in the video description below, and don't forget to sign up for that newsletter. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day. 